Have you ever wondered about our place in the vast universe? We reside in a galaxy, part of the Laniakea supercluster, a cosmic structure that's already impossibly large. Our current understanding of this cosmic neighborhood is based on the study of thousands of galaxies. Yet the universe is still shrouded in mystery, its full extent and structure largely unknown. We've traced our cosmic roots, mapped our celestial surroundings. But what if our cosmic neighborhood is much larger than we've ever imagined? A recent study by researchers at the University of Hawaii might just change our understanding of the universe. A remarkable team of astronomers from the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, known as the Cosmic Flows Team, has embarked on an extraordinary journey to redefine our cosmic neighborhood. The scope of this study is nothing short of monumental, involving the meticulous examination of no less than 56,000 galaxies. To fully appreciate the scale of this endeavor, imagine each galaxy as an intricate dance of stars, dust, and dark matter, each with its own unique rhythm and pattern. Now, multiply that by 56,000. That's the scale of the challenge that the Cosmic Flows team took on. At the heart of this groundbreaking study is the Laniakea supercluster, the cosmic neighborhood we call home. The term Laniakea, meaning immense heaven in the Hawaiian language, is a fitting name for this vast structure that comprises our Milky Way galaxy and countless others. But what if our immense heaven is just a small part of an even larger cosmic structure? That's the tantalizing possibility suggested by this study. The researchers have been studying the trajectories of galaxies, and their findings point towards a potential shift in our understanding of the scale of our galactic basin of attraction. If these findings hold up, it would mean that our cosmic neighborhood could be 10 times larger than what we previously estimated. This is where the Shapley concentration comes into play. A massive cosmic structure, the Shapley concentration could be the center of this larger cosmic neighborhood. If this is the case, it would mean that our Laniakea supercluster is just a part of a far more expansive and interconnected system. To add another layer of complexity, the researchers also had to consider the gravitational tug-of-war between large-scale cosmic structures. The balance of gravitational forces from these structures determines the motion of galaxies, adding an extra layer of complexity to this cosmic puzzle. This discovery could redefine our understanding of the universe's structure. It's a bold claim, but if anyone can back it up, it's the Cosmic Flows team. Their journey to map the largest structures of the cosmos is just beginning, and who knows what other cosmic wonders they might uncover. At the center of this potentially larger cosmic structure lies the massive Shapley concentration. Now this isn't just any ordinary cluster of galaxies. No sir, the Shapley concentration is the largest collection of galaxies in the nearby universe, and it's named after Harlow Shapley, the man who first identified it almost a century ago. Picture this. The Shapley concentration is so colossal that it's about 10 times the size of the next largest cluster in our cosmic neighborhood. That's like comparing a baseball to a beach ball. This supercluster is so massive that it bends the fabric of space-time itself, exerting a gravitational pull so strong that it affects the motion of galaxies millions of light years away. But the Shapley concentration isn't just significant because of its size. Oh no, it's the potential centerpiece of a much larger cosmic structure. Think of it as the heart of the cosmos, pumping galaxies around it in a gravitational dance that's been going on for billions of years. This, my friends, is where it gets interesting. You see, the researchers from the University of Hawaii suggest that our galaxy, the Milky Way, might actually be part of this larger cosmic structure centered around the Shapley concentration. That's right, our home galaxy could be part of something much, much bigger. But how can the Shapley concentration be the center of our cosmic neighborhood? Well, it all comes down to gravity. The Shapley concentration's immense mass means its gravitational pull is so strong that it dominates the motion of galaxies in its vicinity. In other words, it's the big boss of the cosmic neighborhood. So the Shapley concentration isn't just a cluster of galaxies, it's a gravitational powerhouse, a cosmic lighthouse guiding galaxies in their celestial journey. It's the heart of a potentially larger cosmic structure that could redefine our understanding of the universe. Could the Shapley concentration be the center of our cosmic neighborhood? We'll just have to wait and see. So, what does it mean if our cosmic neighborhood is 10 times larger than previously estimated? This is not just a matter of adjusting the cosmic address of our Milky Way galaxy. It's a question that shakes the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. 
When we talk about the structure of the universe, we're talking about how galaxies and galactic clusters are arranged in space. Existing models suggest that the universe is a web of galaxies, with vast empty voids between them. These models are based on observations, calculations, and the theories of gravity and dark matter. But if our cosmic neighborhood is actually ten times larger, it could mean that these models need to be revised. It could mean that there's a lot more to the universe than we can currently see or understand. If the initial seeds of cosmic structure grew far beyond current models, this could suggest a significantly different universe than the one we're familiar with. It could mean that the universe is even more interconnected than we thought, with galaxies and superclusters linked in ways we haven't yet discovered. It could mean that there are forces and phenomena at work in the universe that we haven't yet detected or understood. But perhaps the most exciting implication of a larger cosmic neighborhood is the potential for discovery. If the Laniakea supercluster is just one part of a larger structure, what else might be out there? What other superclusters, galaxies, or cosmic phenomena might we discover as we continue to explore the universe? The Cosmic Flows team's research is not just about mapping the universe, it's about challenging our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can know. It's about asking questions, seeking answers, and always striving to learn more. This is the essence of scientific inquiry, and it's what makes these discoveries so exciting. This discovery has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. And who knows what other mysteries the universe holds waiting for us to uncover. Imagine being caught in a gravitational tug of war. It's an image that captures the challenging task researchers face when trying to evaluate large-scale cosmic structures. The universe is a vast playground where galaxies are the players, and gravity is the game. Every galaxy is in motion and the paths they follow are influenced by the gravitational forces exerted by the cosmic structures around them. It's like a cosmic ballet, with each galaxy performing its own unique dance. But how do astronomers analyze this intricate spectacle? They examine the impact of these large-scale structures on the motions of galaxies. Each galaxy is like a tiny ship sailing the cosmic ocean, its course shaped by the gravitational tides of the surrounding cosmic structures. Now, picture a galaxy caught between two large cosmic structures. This galaxy is in a gravitational tug of war, being pulled in different directions by the competing gravitational forces. The balance of these forces determines the galaxy's motion. A little more pull from one side, and the galaxy veers in that direction. A stronger tug from the other, and it changes its course again. By meticulously mapping the velocities of galaxies throughout our local universe, researchers can identify the region of space where each supercluster's gravitational influence dominates. This gives us a clearer picture of the boundaries of our cosmic neighborhood and helps us understand the vast scale of the universe. This gravitational tug-of-war is more than just a fascinating concept. It's an essential tool that astronomers use to probe the hidden depths of the cosmos and uncover the mysteries of our universe. The dance of the galaxies influenced by the gravitational forces of the cosmic structures around them is a testament to the intricate and interconnected nature of our universe. It's a cosmic dance on an immense scale, a dance that continues to reveal new insights about our vast and complex cosmic neighborhood. It's a cosmic dance on an immense scale, the quest to map the largest structures of the cosmos continues. This is not just a journey of distance, but a journey into time and understanding. The Cosmic Flows team, led by the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, is tirelessly pushing the boundaries of our cosmic comprehension, one galaxy at a time. You see, the universe is not a stagnant place. It's a dynamic, ever-evolving tapestry of cosmic bodies, each influencing and being influenced by the other. And as we stand on the precipice of this vast expanse, the researchers are our cosmic cartographers, mapping out the celestial landscapes that make up our cosmic neighborhood. Their dedication is unyielding, their determination unwavering. They've already studied the trajectories of 56,000 galaxies, and they're not stopping there. Each galaxy holds the potential for new discoveries, every trajectory a clue to the grand cosmic puzzle. What drives them? It's the allure of the unknown, the lure of discovery, and the potential to redefine our understanding of the universe. Each data point, each galaxy, each supercluster brings us one step closer to grassifying the vastness of our cosmic home. 
It's a quest of astronomical proportions, and the stakes couldn't be higher. This mapping endeavor is not just about understanding where we are, but also about understanding where we come from and how we fit into the grand scheme of things. It's about peeling back the layers of the cosmic onion, revealing the interconnectedness of the universe, and challenging our perceptions of our place within it. The researchers are set to continue their cosmic cartography, mapping out the universe galaxy by galaxy, supercluster by supercluster. And as they do, they're not just mapping out our cosmic neighborhood, they're charting the course of our understanding and challenging the very models of our universe. So as we look up at the night sky, let's appreciate the vastness that lies beyond our sight and the tireless work of the researchers who continue to chart the cosmos. Our place in the universe might be part of a far more expansive and interconnected system than ever imagined. Every discovery opens up new questions and possibilities. That's the beauty of our journey through the cosmos. The revelation of our galaxy residing within a much larger structure than previously thought, and the potential shift in our galactic basin of attraction, are testaments to the power of research and scientific discovery. It's a constant cycle of learning, unlearning, and relearning. These groundbreaking studies are not just about numbers or data, they tell a story. A story of our universe, its origins, and the vast interconnected cosmic web it weaves. Each piece of knowledge we uncover, each layer we peel back, reveals a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. The intrigue of exploring the unknown, of venturing into the uncharted territories of space, is what fuels these researchers. It's a journey driven by curiosity and the insatiable thirst for knowledge. It's about challenging the status quo, breaking boundaries, and expanding our collective understanding of the universe. And yet, even as we push the frontiers of knowledge, we are humbly reminded of how much we still don't know. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, always has more to teach us, more secrets to reveal. In the grand scheme of things, we are but a tiny speck in the cosmos. But through research and discovery, we are learning to read the cosmic map, to navigate the vast ocean of space. Who knows what we might discover next? So, we return to our initial question, what is our place in the universe? The revelation that our galaxy might be part of a structure ten times larger than previously estimated has sent ripples through the scientific community. This discovery, emerging from the detailed study of 56,000 galaxies, has challenged our understanding of the universe's structure. If our cosmic neighborhood, the Laniakea supercluster, is indeed nestled within a larger structure potentially centered around the massive Shapley concentration, it would suggest that the seeds of cosmic structure grew far beyond current models. This gravitational tug-of-war, this cosmic ballet, has the potential to redefine our understanding of the universe, our cosmic neighborhood, and our place in it. As the researchers continue their quest to map the largest structures of the cosmos, they are driven by the possibility of a far more expansive and interconnected system than ever imagined. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we might just find that our place in it is even more extraordinary than we ever imagined.